team loves pets. Sponsored by La Fontaine Automotive. Welcome back to 13 on your side mornings. We didn't get to do it last weekend, but we certainly did not forget. It's time for our September adopt a pet segment. I'm joined this morning by Alexis Robertson from the Big Lake Humane Society in Muskegon, and she brought a special guest with her today. So tell us more about this handsome little guy. Absolutely. This is little Lobo. Mm -hmm. uh, he is a senior Pomeranian. He's about eight years old and uh, he spent the weekend with me Aww. and he is just a little love bug. He is oh. adorable. I, how did <laughs> yes. he come to be at the shelter? Uh, so we've seen a, a large influx in surrenders for um, commercial breeding facilities. Uh, so not just here in Michigan, but across the country, there's just been a big push to close commercial facilities. And a lot of those breeders are coming into shelters now. So we've seen more than ever of breeds that you usually don't see in shelters, yeah. purebreds. Um, so he's one of three commercial breeding cases that we've taken in the last month or so. Yeah. Um, we've taken puppies and seniors and all ages, but uh, Little Lobo here is kind of a specialty Merle breed of a Pomeranian. Okay. Um, and he is at this point mostly fully blind. Uh, so we are asking for a kind of a special adopter that that's going to be able to meet the needs that he has and, and be patient and understanding as he navigates, you know, learning a, a new home for the first time. Yeah, and although um, he's a senior and mostly blind, yes. um, he still has a lot of life left to live. Absolutely. Uh, once he gets comfortable, he definitely gets spunky. He's good with, uh, good with other dogs. He's been fine with mine, um, but mostly he just wants to be held. Right. So <laughs> I definitely think as he gets more comfortable, uh, his personality would shine more too. So he's definitely um, a lap dog if that's what you're looking for. Oh, yes. This is your guy. Yes. So tell us a little bit more about his personality and in your mind what his forever home looks like. Yeah well I think he would do well in in different scenarios but just in general I mean if someone was home all the time and wanted a companion someone who's gonna sit on their lap and and be ready to cuddle I mean this is your guy. Um, I wouldn't advocate for someone that works a lot and he's just going to be home alone because again with him being mostly blind, I just think companionship would be the best thing for him. Um, he's very low maintenance in general. Um, aside from that, he, he just wants to be around you. Yeah, so companionship and a furry friend also <laughs> at home. Yeah. All right, awesome. Where can people go to apply to adopt Little Lobo? Yeah, absolutely. He's available on our website, biglakehumane.org. Uh, you can find him and we've got quite a few other Pomeranians and um, many adoptable pets from puppies to seniors available right now. So Senior dogs deserve <laughs> a home too, like Little Lobo. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. We will have this full segment on our website, 13onyourside.com. And Alexis will be back in our next half hour to talk about a fundraiser coming to the shelter as well. Yes. Blake, is Little Lobo going to enjoy walking <laughs> outside today? Yeah, enjoy